Okay, welcome everybody to your first video lesson of the year. We are working on section 1.1, Evaluate Expressions. This is Algebra. This is my name, Mr. Dilly. You know me. I'm standing behind you, not talking, and it's kind of creepy because I'm just watching you watch me. But we're going to do it anyway, okay? So we are going to evaluate expressions today. Algebra 1, Mr. Dilly, let's go. Some important vocabulary. Uh, you're going to open up your vocabulary document that you have on uh, your Google Drive, and I want you to add this vocabulary to it. The first is variable, right? A variable is a letter or symbol, right? So it can be anything. Typically, we use X, right? But we can use any symbol. Remember, we can use uh, happy face if we want to. Uh, that's used to represent one or, which is misspelled, right? That should just be O-R, not O-R-E, which is used to represent one or more than one number. So it's just a representation. It's a stand-in, okay? Uh, algebraic expression is an expression that contains at least one variable. So something like this, 3x plus 2, that's an expression. Or or x, that's also an algebraic expression. Or 3x squared plus y cubed, that is also an expression. It just needs to contain at least one variable. This, 3 plus 2, is not an algebraic expression because it does not contain at least one variable. We have a power. That is an expression that represents repeated multiplication. We have like 3 to the 4th power. That's our power. And it represents repeated multiplication. That I am multiplying that same number over and over again. And uh, the last thing here is exponent and base. The exponent represents the number of times that the base is multiplied. So if we have something like 4 squared, the 4 is the base, and the 2 is the exponent. Again, we want to continue to build vocabulary because when we talk about such things, we want to use the correct words. We don't want, when we're talking about, uh, you know, X or Y, we want to call it the variable. We don't want to call it that thingy next to the three, right? For good, clear communication, we want to use the appropriate vocabulary, okay? So we're going to add those to your uh, vocabulary uh, document at the end of the video. Today, we're going to look at evaluating expressions. To evaluate an expression, man, I got a lot of typos in this thing. You'd think that I would stop now, correct the typos, and then make the video again later. But I'm not, because I don't care. To evaluate an expression, substitute a number for each variable and perform the operations. So you'll be given what the number you want it to be, and you should then substitute and do your operations. So for example, for each of the following examples, uh, I want the expression for n equal to 3. Okay? So, the first one here is 13 times n. And so what I'm going to do is say that n needs to be 3. So I'm going to substitute the n for 3, and then I'm going to follow the operations. 13 times 3 is 39. The next example, 9 divided by n. Again, we're going to replace the n with 3. We have 9 divided by 3. And that equals 3. n minus 1. We're going to replace the n with 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And finally, n plus 8. And I replace the n with 2, which makes 10. These are simple one step expressions. We will be complicating matters in the next lesson, 1.2, where we'll be combining these operations that we did here into one problem. And you'll have to remember that thing called your order of operations. But for today, we 
are simply evaluating simple one steps. Okay. Here we have a story problem. Uh, the movies. So here we go. The total cost of seeing a movie at a theater can be represented by the expression A plus R. So we've got an expression being given to us. That's important information. We should probably underline that. Uh, where A, A is the cost, and that's in dollars. So we want to make sure we understand that as well, of admission. And R is the cost in dollars of refreshments. Suppose you pay $7.50 for admission and $7.25 for admission for uh, refreshments. Find the total cost. So it's important to recognize that this is telling us that we need to take this $7, which is our admission price, and this $7.25, which is our refreshment price, meaning that this is our A and that this is our R, and we're simply going to replace these two values with the A plus R that we see up here. So this is $7.50 plus $7.25. And uh, well, let's see, 7 plus 7 makes 14, 0.5 plus 0.25, it looks like we paid $14.75 total, right? Make sure you have your units on here. This is money, right? So we want to have our units that this is money. If this we were talking about something in feet, we do want to write like feet over here, um, just so we can keep our answer in context with the question. Finally today, our last thing, is evaluating powers. We talked about what a power was in the beginning of the video on our vocabulary. So, if we wanted to evaluate x to the fourth when x equals 2, we're going to take that value that we say x is equal to, and we are going to plug it into the x. So this is 2 to the fourth power, which we recognize as being repeated multiplication, we take the base 2 and we multiply it by itself four times. So times 2, times 2, times 2, and then that's 4 times 4 because 2 times 2 is 4 and that's 16. Right. We do the same thing if we have say n cubed when uh, n equals 1.5, so this is 1.5 cubed, and that is 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5, uh, which we need to multiply those things together. Uh, so let's do that real quick. we got to remember how to multiply decimals. 1.5 times 1.5. That's uh, 25. Carry that 2 up. 5 times 1, that's 7. And then we do the same thing here. Uh, so we put a 0 there, because now we're working in the tens place. So that's 1 point times 5, that's 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add these bad boys together. That's a 5. That's a 2. That's a 2. And then to find our final answer, we have two things to the right of the decimal point. So it's but that's not our final answer because we have to multiply that by 1.5 again. So 2.25 times 1.5. All right, this is 25, 12, 13, take the 0, 5, 2, 2, 5, 7, 5, 3. 3.3575, but we've got one, two, three things to the right of the decimal point. One, two, three. 3.575. And that is the last of what we have to do today. So, uh, you have a homework assignment uh, to do eventually. I, there's going to be some problems on the Google Classroom. So, you're going to want to go back. Oop, I can't write on that. that, that that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's discard those and let's just show this. Uh, we have a problems to do in your Google Classroom. So jump back on Google Classroom and do the assigned problems for practice. Uh, and then your homework is on page 
five, and you were doing problems two through 46 evens. And as a reminder, we are no calculators for a while. I want you doing this stuff by hand, getting that practice. All right, that is the last of what I need to say here. So, go ahead and move on.